And we're back. Um, I'd like to introduce uh, Jennifer DeWinter, our program director. Uh, and she's going to take us through the end of the year awards. Take it away, Jen. Hi. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Dean. I, I really want to congratulate uh, Dean and, and the student group that has uh, arranged this amazing Twitch channel and brought together all the developers uh, from the greater uh, Massachusetts community to, to spend time with our students. We're so grateful uh, for many reasons, the not least of which is it's really joyful for us faculty who have been working really closely with students for four years, for the most part in this case, uh, to see how far that they've come and, and these capstone experiences in which uh, they're experimenting, they're trying things out, they're failing, they're iterating, they're experimenting again. And so again, tremendous gratefulness. Uh, this is the part of the evening that um, that is really, it's a privilege for me as the director to be able to represent the will of the faculty. So for those of you who have never been to a show fest before, uh, this is the part of the evening where we talk about student awards. And this is, a, this is a really long process for the faculty. We all sit around, we talk a lot about all the different students, we talk about the pros and the cons, we talk about the growth of the program. And um, I haven't been in here as long as some. Uh, Dean O'Donnell and Mark Claypool have been around since the beginning when the program was founded. Uh, but what struck me so much was um, the, the, the media that the students created this year were so good. We struggled to pick uh, best MQPs this year. Um, and and I, I wish that we could go back without disparaging the hard work that faculty and students had done in the past. It just shows that like, like video game development, getting better through through trying things out, testing, iteration, trying things out, testing, iteration, the program itself has become stronger through that process. Uh, and so without further ado, uh, I want to, to now announce uh, to the quietness of my dining room, which feels very bizarre for the, this, this momentous moment, uh, all of the awards. And so we have both MQP awards celebrating this capstone experience, but we also have the IMGD Student Awards recognizing the excellence of, of being a, a present and outstanding student. Um, and so I'm, I'm gonna start with the MQP Awards uh, and, and I'm gonna go in order from the Provost Award uh, towards the runners up. Um, and so for, and, and, and I really wanna iterate again or reiterate, um, this was a really hard call for us. Like it was so close to call that the faculty were talking about it up to 4 p.m. today. Uh, so for the best MQP Provost Award, uh, the award goes to Factory Reset. Um, and so uh, very hearty congratulations to you all. The best MQP People's Choice Award, the one that got the most student votes, uh, goes to Buried Voices. Um, and, and again, very close to call on these things. Uh, and then the, the best MQP Faculty Choice Award uh, went to Catalyst. Uh, and, and we wanted to especially note it, uh, note it for its technical contribution. Um, and so we have the Provost, the, the Best People's Choice, uh, and then we had a, a Faculty Choice one. Um, and again, these, these three were super rough to call and, and we felt strongly about acknowledging all three of these. Um, that said, we have runners up that were also ridiculously well represented in, in the deliberations. Uh, and so I wanna announce two runners up. Both of them are single per person MQPs and that's pretty significant because uh, they were able to accomplish quite a bit not having a team working on them. Uh, so our first runner up is Rigs of Color and it's noted for its societal contribution. And then the Book of Worlds, uh, which is noted for its art and interactive media contribution. So really well done to, to both of these single MQPs. So now, now I'm gonna move on to our student awards. Um, and I, I wanna preface this with an acknowledgement that, that the 2020-2021 academic year has been 
brutal. Um, and I think it's taken a toll on all of us. And what has impressed all of the faculty, but I'll speak for myself right now, what has impressed me so much is that the IMGD community managed to stay a community, that there were events online, uh, that there was a tremendous amount of effort uh, to be present in classes, to participate in a community, even though we were a distributed community, uh, to maintain friendships. Um, and so these student awards, of course, continue to recognize outstanding academic uh, performance, but we also want to spend quite a bit of time uh, recognizing outstanding community service. Um, and so now to, to the student awards, our outstanding senior on, on the BA track is Natalie Milgram, and our outstanding senior on the tech track is Joseph Schwetz. Uh, so congratulations to both of you. I, I, I personally haven't had the privilege of working with either of you. Uh, your faculty spoke so highly of you, and I'm so pleased that, that you are now recognized as outstanding seniors. Our outstanding senior community leader uh, is Henry, uh, and I always butcher your last name, Henry. It's uh, Stadelnik. I'm sorry, Henry. Um, I picture you with your charming smile all the time and still can't say your last name. Uh, but Henry is part of a group of, um, of IMGD students who have really taken charge of the discord and helping to continue to uh, organize and motivate our community around a number of things. Um, now to our outstanding juniors. Uh, we have our outstanding junior on the BA track is Jasmine Durek. Uh, and on our tech track is Paloma Gonzalez Galvez. Uh, so congratulations again to the two of you. Uh, and again, to our community leader, uh, the IMGD community wouldn't be the same without you, Mariko Endo. Uh, so again, congratulations. At this point, we also wanna recognize um, in a new award, uh, an, an IMGD Excellence Award. And, and this was to recognize not just the exceptional community leadership within IMGD, but the exceptional ambassadorship outside of IMGD. And, and we haven't done this award before because while we've always had exceptional members of our community uh, and that they've always done interesting things all over the, the university, I haven't received phone calls about what an amazing ambassador uh, students are consistently in the way that I, I do about this, this particular student. And so our IMGD Excellence Award goes to Michael Maticoli. Uh, so congratulations, Michael. Uh, we wouldn't be the same program without you and I think all of your peers would, would agree. Uh, at this point, not only is this a celebration of the IMGD undergraduate community, it's a celebration of the graduate community. We started the graduate program five or six years ago. It, it feels a while now. Um, and, uh, and similar to the undergraduate, it's just gotten stronger and stronger. And so I'd like to uh, recognize an outstanding graduate student that recognizes both his academic and his project uh, and, and, and his goodwill among the program, uh, Cole Graniff. Uh, congratulations on winning our Outstanding Graduate Student Award. Um, at this point, I'm going to to invite all of you to continue to participate on the Discord or to download these games. Uh, this has been the culmination of an entire academic year's work. Uh, we're, we're so pleased. Um, I wish we could all be in person. I, I sent my husband out to go get hot dogs from Coney Island hot dogs so I could feel like I was having the, the show fest experience with uh, hot dogs and games and beep bop boops and, and and the cheer and the laughter and, and, and the good times. And I, I miss that and I look forward to having it again next year. Uh, but I'm, I'm so grateful that we were able to do this and still be able to focus individually on each, each project and the achievements of each and every one of you. So thank you very much. Dean, I'll go ahead and hand it back to you now. Hi, I just wish I had a button with applause for and <laughs> cheers for each and every one of those people. Um, I just, uh, I'm, I'm just overwhelmed with how well this year uh, ended up uh, after s s having such great uh, um, adversity all year. 
So uh, thanks everybody for coming. Uh, this is the end. And thanks Jen for holding there with a smile on your face as we go out. Keep your